is one thing for sure. That slavery was not a good place to be. And now that we know it, we can't go back and change anything. It's what you do from now on that counts. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. At one time, slave cargo was worth more than anything on the water than coal. I got some pictures that I'll show you that's why you come up and look at some of them. Even your government got into slave money. It was the most liquid thing on the high seas. They fit slave ships where they could haul 500 people on them. Slaves didn't keep records. The only slave history we can get is what they would talk to each other at night and then tell it to their children. So we got a haphazard accounting of everything done. But we do know that this one thing for sure that slavery was not a good place to be. And now that we know it, we can't go back and change anything. It's what you do from now on that counts. Yeah. Uh -huh. I've had people come tell me, look, I know what you're doing. Of course, I used to go in a place I didn't have a minute, but that's the advantage of having a prosecuting attorney for a friend. I'd go in place in the courthouse in New London and I'd be sitting in there and the judge called me and said, what are you doing in here? I didn't tell him, but I said, the prosecutor turned my friend. <laughs> I'd be in her place that I didn't have any business and don't y'all think I didn't do a lot of meddling? <laughs> <laughs> I found out things about people. I look at them now, I'll ask. You don't know what I know about your family. <laughs> I brought back some of the things that uh, I thought maybe you might be interested in. It, uh, so a lot of these pictures have to take me so long to tell what they really are. Uh, this is a reward for slaves. This, y'all heard the man that said, Give me liberty or give me death. Mm -hmm. Here he is, right here. That's his daughter. Patrick Henry was a slave owner, which most of them wrote the Constitution were. I never figured out how they would say it. Mm -hmm. All men are created equal. You've got six in your home and can't vote. <laughs> but this is her. Here's the video she got over. This is Patrick Henry's daughter. This is a slave woman in Kevin. Finally got so good nobody keep it. But this is a black woman. One day he decided to have a sale. And he's gonna sell the slave. Some of them. And this little baby was there with him. And he had to go somewhere and left the baby with her. And while he was gone, her time for the sale came and they marched her right up on the block, and she was still holding this baby. And they sold both of them. Nice. <clears throat> and that's her there. So down in St. Louis, down in Cleese Landing, how many of them were in Cleese Landing in St. Louis? Mm -hmm. That was a jumping off place for slaves in this area. The Cleese Landing down there. The Cleese uh -huh. is a French, and that's where they named it after him. Then they marched them from there up to the courthouse. And that's where they sold it. And uh, so, I even go, I'm going to tell you all something about me. Most of y'all know where I live. We had to walk to school when I was a kid. I think that's, well, I ain't going to say that. You all think I'd be part of my legs now? <laughs> I walked for 12 years. Now, the school that I should have went to, I passed by. We had to walk here to London. And so now I'm all purple. But I got this old Times the Railroad came up with a plan for the school board in Ross County. 
They wheel that black kid right. I don't mean talking about nobody, I'll tell you this. Of course, my dad had 12 kids, that's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> they let us ride the railroad bus to school. I got a picture of it right here. We used to call it the Hurdy Gurdy. It was run on the rail just like a train. I sometime now, I can hear imagine myself hearing that clickety clack, clickety clack. <laughs> now, that wasn't no pro hop. We still had to walk to catch that thing. Had to walk to near Junction. Sometimes it's so cold. I don't know if y'all paying attention or not. It don't get as cold now as it used to. <laughs> it got snow so much we just walk over fences without taking stuff just so much snow. And we had to walk to a, and then after getting there, sometimes they were late, and the railroad decided they do something about it. So where we caught it, they built a tin shed and put a stove and wood and stuff in there. And even give it a name, they call it Smith Station. <laughs> <laughs> Would you believe? After I got into high school, where Smith Station was, my dad bought the place. <laughs> and he bought it then, I wouldn't have to walk. <laughs> <laughs> and but we can't do anything about that, can we? So, uh, 12 years of walk. Walk. And then, on top of that, my dad had a bunch of old cows with milk. Morning and night. Sometimes we milk them cows in the morning, feed the hogs and things. Head off walking for school and daylight ain't come yet. Mm -hmm. And the bad part we know for sure that old cows will be there when the dark comes. <laughs> and they don't take holidays. <laughs> and Christmas don't mean a thing to them. <laughs> Amen. So I'll let y'all ask me some questions. Come ask me, are you bitter for what? Well, I got to be bitter. One thing about me, I didn't have much help. But it's one thing for sure. If you can pull up on your own bootstrap, you're blessed. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's the trouble with us now. We're looking for too much help. Mm -hmm. All I ask anybody to do is give me an even break. Took me back more years than I care to mention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.